Destination Sailing Channel is sponsored by Seawater Pro. If you are buying a water maker, follow the link below and receive an additional set of filters with your purchase. If you speak with Mike at Seawater Pro, don't forget to mention Destination Sailing Channel. Hello and welcome to the Destination Sailing Channel. I'm Carla. And I'm Simon. And we are from the YouTube sailing channel Sailing Ocean Fox. Over the past three years we've sailed over 25,000 miles on our catamaran through the Mediterranean, across the Atlantic and the Caribbean. In this series we will be looking at some of our favourite islands, towns and remote caves we have visited during our adventure. This will give you a fresh insight on your next destination, what to expect on arrival, places to stay, things to do and how to find those all important provisions from propane to bananas. So let's start with this week's location, Bonaire. Yeah, we last visited Bonaire, oh, two years ago now, yes, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, it was part of our sort of hurricane um, area to go, wasn't yes. it? We went down around the ABC Islands, which was absolutely fantastic. Fantastic, mm. yes. Bonaire is located 400 nautical miles west of Grenada, 150 nautical miles east of Curaçao, and about 60 miles off the Venezuelan coast. Yeah, the language spoken in uh, Bonaire, are, the official language is Dutch, uh, English is widely spoken, and also you'll find that Spanish and Papiamento. Yeah, is that correct? Yeah, and now what is Papiamento? It's um, a junction of uh, four languages, Portuguese, Spanish, Dutch and English. Yeah, and they kind of like the, some of the locals, well, I think everybody knows how to speak it, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, because they, they learn in school, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. But it's kind of like a, a real local language, yes, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yes. So the weather, the weather is hot and dry, summers, uh, typically, Caribbean ranges from 26 to 29 degrees, dry and dusty. I know, Remember it's the incredibly dust. <laughs> dusty. I mean, the island is very flat and uh, they don't actually get a lot of rain. And what, what, what happens is you're on the leeward side of the island in the uh, mooring field and the dust blows off and everything on the windward side of your boat will get covered in dust. Be prepared of weeks. to wash your boat when you leave. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about how it's the front of the mast. Everything, and it everything, takes everything, ages everything. to come off, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Uh, the courtesy flag is their national flag, which is uh, blue, white and yellow with a small crest. Interesting facts about Bonaire. Well, there's so many interesting facts about Bonaire, really, isn't there? Yeah. It's such a fantastic <laughs> place. Yes. Bonaire's airport is called the uh, Flamingo Airport. Uh, that's because it, the island is home to around about 10,000 of the pink birds and they are in flocks. They are they? beautiful. Yeah, it's just a beautiful stunning. sight to go and see. It is uh, absolutely amazing. Incredible. Yep. Yes. Bonaire only gets hit by the core of a hurricane every 29 years on average. <laughs> making this the perfect Caribbean destination during the hurricane season. Yeah, it's very rare. It's tucked right down quite south, underneath the sort of official um, uh, hurricane belt. We were allowed to go there with our insurance based on the fact that um, we could be in the water, yes. which was the benefit, really, yeah, for yes, us. Yes. Yeah. Mm. This is really quite interesting, I think, and very true. The government have painted Diver's Paradise on every single licence plate of absolutely every car. So it's just their diver's paradise. Yeah, they all have these things on these islands. Yeah. Aruba has the same. But Bonaire yeah. really is a diver's yeah, paradise. Yeah, it is a it? diver's yeah. paradise. No, yeah. that, that's no, no, no doubt about it. No. Yes. No. Yeah. Yes. So the currency, it's uh, US dollars. Yep. So you just use your hard currency. They used to use a guild or something until about uh, 2011 and then they just uh, went, dang, that's mm -hmm. it. We're just going to yeah. go with the uh, US yeah. dollar. Uh, the time zone is UST minus four. Mm hmm. So uh, the city is uh, Kralendijk, is the capital. Kralendijk. Now this city, is this right? I'm not really sure, but this city is. I'm running to Dutch, so I don't it's, know. It's not really huge, is it? No, it's very small, <laughs> yes. It's very small. Everything about Bonaire is petite. Yeah. Uh, navigation, uh, are there any navigational uh, things to look out for? Well, basically, you rock up and find a mooring buoy. Yes. I mean, is. there is a lighthouse that marks the island when you're uh -huh. approaching from the west. Yeah. But uh, basically, you just go and find a mooring buoy. Yes. Yep. So, Boyage, uh, red, Region B, so the green square top boys will be on the left side as you enter from the ocean. Mm -hmm. But there is very little 
uh, boyage. Yes. Yeah, very little boyage. Yeah. Uh, Check-in in process. Uh, at the south end of the promenade, so there's like a long uh, seafront that goes along the main town there, and you get to the uh, a rather beautiful building, which is the old fish market, just past the, um, just by rather the uh, cruise ship port, and uh, there's a nice white building there, and you go in there, and a nice couple of chaps will check you in. Yeah, yep. very and nice people. Immigration very and people. Uh, uh, customs, customs are all are there. All there. Yes, yeah. you don't need to go anywhere no. else. No, no. Yeah. The only issue is if you come from Venezuela, like we did. Yeah. yeah. So try not to say. Even if you come from Venezuela, try not to say that you came from there. Just say you came from Grenada or your yeah. last port yeah. before. Because the borders close. Close. Yeah. And so it's just the normal things. Uh, passenger uh, oh, passports. Oh, Check-in is free, guys. Yeah, it's, the pet is free. That's really good That's to mention bonus, that one, yes. Uh, you, you know, it's a normal thing. Uh, passport for each passenger, crew list, ship's documents, and uh, clearance from your last port. Yes, mm. yes. Uh, now, there's a couple of things here that are interesting, is that if you are, have any spear guns on board, or flare guns on board, they're going to take them off you at this point. Yes. Because uh, they're illegal in Bonaire, and uh, they'll lock them away, and then they will give you them back when you depart. Yeah. So healthcare, uh, San Francisco Hospital, we've, which has 60 beds and full, is fully equipped. That's we, what we it says. We know someone that had a baby there. Yes, we do. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Yeah. A, a fellow uh, boater. Yes. She had yeah. her baby there, yeah. which was all rather nice. Yeah. Uh, dinky docks. Uh, there's the small marina of Bonaire Nautico marina along the actual uh, front and uh, you can go in there go around the back leave your dinghy it's all pretty safe uh, if they manage to catch you they will charge you <laughs> you know, if they don't catch you they won't charge you but eventually they will catch up with you but it's like ten dollars a week yeah it's so like it's ten dollars a week it's yeah not really it's not bad. bad then then they give you a, a whistle band yeah. isn't it and yeah. Then, yeah um harbour village marina uh which is at the north of the uh, promenade is a bit of a walk to town uh but they do actually have a dinghy dock and also i understand budget marine have a dinghy dock but when we were there i didn't really see it yeah. um along the front there if you're diving, if you and you are diving with dive from friends, friends on there, um, they'll be very happy for you to use their dinghy use dock, the, yes, at Yellow yes. Submarine, which yeah, we did a yes, few times. Yes. So marinas, uh, Harbour Village Marina, sixty sleeps for yachts, of up to one hundred and fifty feet. Uh, call them on VHF Channel Seventeen. Yep. Yeah. yeah. A uh, 40 feet yacht is going to cost you $45 per night. Yeah, so uh, that's a basic rate for one night, uh, $45 and uh, for your 45 It's a night. very small marina. You have to be careful if you want to be in the marina, isn't it? Yeah. You need to book in advance. Yes. Uh, really, yeah. ideally. Yes. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it isn't that big at all. And that, there is this thing about Bonaire that if you arrive, you find a mooring boy. If you don't have a mooring boy, they will send you to the marina. If you don't have a place in the marina, you are sent away. Yes. Because you can't anchor. No, anything over uh, anything over uh, four meters in length is not allowed to anchor. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you are for under four meters, which I doubt many of us uh, yachts are, uh, you have to use a stone anchor. You're not allowed to use uh, like a kedge anchor or anything like because that. Because of the coral. Yeah. Because of the coral. So that leads on to uh, mooring buoys. So along the uh, the bite of um, Bon Air, there's actually 42 mooring buoys uh, which have been laid by the government. Uh, they're very well done, actually. Uh, the older ones are, have three uh, concrete blocks around about a metre cube, and uh, they have a line going down that attaches to those. The newer ones that they're replacing them with have a drilled spike that goes into the coral. And uh, on the top, they have two lines coming off them, uh, with two little floating buoys, yes. red and red and white, mm -hmm. and you can pick those up. There's there's only forty two of them. Uh, if you're going in June, I'd recommend you get there the first week of June. Yes. Uh, because a lot of people stay there for months. Yes. Um, yeah, they, once they arrive, they won't leave. They it. won't leave, yeah. and you may not get yeah. one. Yes. I mean that's the uh, problem there. Yeah. Um, they're ten dollars uh, plus tax per night. Yes. So I think they come out around about eleven fifty or twelve yes, dollars per yeah. night, which doesn't sound that much, but it does add up over, add up, yeah. over a month. Yeah. You know. And as Carla said, uh, if you if you uh, can't get a mooring boy, you have to go in the marina. And uh, if the marina's full, basically, they'll ask you to leave. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, you have to go on to Curacao. They are very uh, strict on their laws, yeah. aren't they? Uh, these mooring boys will only take boats up to 55 feet as well. 
yeah. uh, because they're set at a distance apart, so mm -hmm. they can't. Now, on top of that, there's another about 120, 150 more in buoys uh, dotted around the island, but these are for diving, just for, for diving. swimming or snorkeling. Yes, you can only stay there for two hours uh, yeah. at a time. So yeah. if you want to stay over two hours, you're going to have to move from one to another. Yeah. Is the, that's why yeah. I understand. That's right, you have to keep moving. Yeah, keep moving. But these buoys are all very well maintained by yes. uh, SINAPA, which is the Marine Parks Agency. Yes. And they're out there checking them and uh, replacing lines and floats and things like that on a regular basis. Yeah. So yes. fuel, you can get fuel at a uh, Harbour Village Marina. Yeah, that's basically it. Everything yeah. takes place at Harbour Village Marina. In fact, you pay for the mooring boys at, at the Harbour Village, Village Marina. Yeah. And if you think you're going to get away with it, um, the, the guy the, the guy <laughs> comes out every day and he knows which boats are there and yeah. he'll put a little ticket on your boat saying uh, you owe us uh, yeah, that's five right. days or something yeah, like yeah. that. Uh, propane is available at the Chandlery, which is um, Budget Marine. Yeah. Yeah. And but that is the three kilo camping gas bottles. Mm -hmm. So buses and trains. Uh, there is no buses and trains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a taxi or a hire a car, isn't it? Yes, taxi we, or which hire a we car. Did. We, hired we hired a car, car for a yes. couple of days. Yes. Yeah, which is a very good way of seeing the island. And really, you can see most of the island within yeah. a couple of days, couple of days yes. easily. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Uh, Chandra is, as I said, there is a budget marine, but my word, is it expensive? There's nothing budget about budget marine here. Yeah. No. It is incredibly We've expensive. We've paid the most expensive bridle. <laughs> one, one, of the, one of the issues they have is that if they have a roll of rope, for example, it won't be a cheap brand of rope, it'll be the most expensive brand of rope. So you'll end up paying uh, a lot of money. If you wanted to say for a, a, a solar regulator, you won't find you know, any cheaper ones there. They'll only be the most expensive. Mm. There's also another place called Boto Blanco Marina and Parts and Services, which uh, specialise in uh, more engines and also um, marine parts. Yeah. Yeah. So supermarkets. So you have the Warehouse Bonnet and the Van Den Twil, uh, supermarket, which is amazing. Very, very good. You have a very good choice of uh, fruits True. and vegetables yeah. and everything you yeah. need, yeah. but it's going to be expensive. It's going to be expensive. It's it? very, very the expensive. The warehouse Bonaire was cheaper, I think. It was it? cheaper. Yeah. doesn't mean it's cheap again, no. but yeah. uh, it was cheaper. Yeah. So you buy things in bulk, isn't it? Yeah. So it's... They're almost opposite uh, each other, yeah. just a little way yeah. out of town. Yeah. So it's, it's less than a mile's walk, isn't yeah. it? And yeah. there is a, but there is a service for the Van Deel, uh, Van Deel Twill. Yeah? Yeah. It's a service, minibus service. A min minibus yeah. service twice a week I think it was uh, Tuesdays and Fridays so at a certain time they pick you up on a certain point of the island and then uh, they will bring you back after two hours yeah yeah so it's pretty good uh, hardware stores we didn't actually go to a hardware store where we were there but uh, I understand is Koiman um, a large hardware store with a wide variety of items and boomerang hardware I guess you keep going back for more <laughs> so boatyard uh, El Navegante uh, offer haul out and storage for sailboats up to 45 and tw 25 uh, feet in 20 tons. Yeah, 45 footer and mm. uh, 20 tons, that's yeah. their limit. Um, but uh, there's a little bit further north along the, the coast and uh, yeah, they'll lift your boat and store it for you. Yeah. They've got a, a wide range of services including rigging and uh, sail maker and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a sail maker there. Mm -hmm. El Navigant, uh, which is actually a representative of Doyle's sales. Mm -hmm. Destination Sailing Channel is sponsored by Seawater Pro. If you are buying a water maker, follow the link below and receive an additional set of filters. If you speak with Mike at Seawater Pro, don't forget to mention Destination Sailing Channel. Check out our video when we installed our Seawater Pro water maker. So diving, what a fantastic diving. This really is the place to go to go diving. I yeah. mean, we went there and my motto has always been on it, not in it. I do any water sports on the water, but I never go in it. I rarely even go for a swim, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, we got talked into it by our friends at Dive Friends Bon Air yeah. to go on a one day uh, uh, scuba diving course, didn't we? Yeah. And my word, it was absolutely mind blowing. I mean, I think it, the great advantage is the water the is water so clear. The water is so clear. We have yeah. never seen so, so clear water yeah. anywhere yeah. else. Yeah. And so, uh, uh, we end up doing our paddy, so we are divers yeah, now. we're divers. Um, while we were there, we had, had an interview with uh, Katie from Dive Friends Bonaire. Let's listen to what she has to say for a minute 
about diving on the Bonaire. Well, they call Bonaire Divers Paradise. Uh, the reason for that is the ease and the independence you have of scuba diving on Bonaire. It's an amazing thing. You can wake up, go diving, you can go to sleep, go diving. I mean, any time of day, you pretty much have access to diving. Uh, most of the diving is done by shore here, yes. Uh, we have around 50 dive sites on the west coast of Bonaire to choose from uh, with various levels of entry. Uh, we have multiple guides that people can refer to or they can book guided diving with us and so we have a guide who can take them out for the shore dive and show them how to enter and exit the water safely. Now there are some charges for diving uh, apart from actually uh, you know the training and uh, hiring the tanks or whatever there's a marine park charge which is around about seventy dollars for a year so even we as visitors have mm -hmm. to pay that yes. uh, to do go scuba diving and for other users uh, even if you want to go swimming there's yes. a twenty five dollar yes. fee yeah, yeah. yes yeah, yeah they're really pretty strict on all of this aren't they they can because they live on the water sports yeah, aren't they absolutely so, yes but it really is tremendous the fish and everything is it's really fantastic. worth it yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so if you're thinking of going learning to dive i can only recommend uh, yeah, and Bonaire if you're going completely. to dive there, you can do your paddy theory before you go to the island, so you don't lose your time there yes. doing the theory, isn't it? Because we spent about three days doing oh, so our paddy. Four days, yes, yeah, studying just it. studying it and yeah. going all the yeah. way through it. Yeah. But we managed to do it yes. between the two of us. It mm -hmm. was really, really good. Mm -hmm. Now, another big thing on the island is kite surfing. Yes. And this all takes place uh, quite a way down um, on the south of the island. Mm -hmm. uh, it is an offshore breeze. But uh, there's two old uh, American buses, and uh, we went to the yellow bus. Yellow bus. <laughs> As opposed to the black bus, you go yeah. to the yellow bus. And uh, the kite surfing school there was absolutely fantastic. Yes. Um, the kite surfing is brilliant. They've got all the equipment if you want to learn, and the wind's blowing every day at around yeah. about 25 knots, yes. which is absolutely perfect. All the water sports are amazing yeah. on it. Yeah, yes. absolutely brilliant. Um, another thing we came across was sand surfing, which I've always wanted to do. I have always wanted to go on one of these little buggies yeah. and go tearing around with a little mainsail <laughs> and everything. Unfortunately, fun. we didn't do it. Well, I should have done it because it's the only opportunity I've come across to do it. I'd love well, to we're going to go to Bonaire again. We're going to go to Bonaire and I'm going to go and do that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you have the flamingos, uh, the salt walks. Uh, so they are close by one the other, isn't it? Because yeah. That's one of the things, that's why the flamingos yeah. are pink. It's yes. because of the salt, salt. some the chemicals salt in the salt. So as you arrive in Bonaire, one of the first things you'll see apart from the lighthouse is these absolutely iconic pyramids. They are huge of white uh, salt and uh, they have a vast area. Where it really goes back hundreds of years where they've been uh, creating salt, the salt there yes. through the evaporation yes. of um, uh, the, the water mm -hmm. and it is absolutely incredible and also uh, during the slaves times it was really interesting because the the, the salt uh, companies built little houses mm -hmm. and these houses are absolutely tiny they're only about six foot wide by about seven foot long but they, they used to take six people in they used to take six six people the in there apparently at the time the slaves were really grateful for them because yeah. uh, they, they lived at the other end of the island they used to go and work there for like uh, six and a half days a week and then they would go home and see their friends and family or whatever yeah. But um, they, they're all different colours as all well. All different colours, yeah. depending on the ship that's going to arrive on the place. Yeah, they had they like were... an obelisk, a huge obelisk, yeah. uh, painted white, orange, blue and uh, yellow, I think. Yeah. And uh, the ship would know which one it was going to go to and then mm -hmm. it would get different, the right grade of salt. salt so it was yes. a massive industry yes. there. Yeah. Mm. And so these are the slave house called the slave house. Yeah, they're called it? the slave houses, yes. yeah. And there is the museum, which is very interesting Yes, too. it is, actually. It tells you all about what's happened over the uh, centuries with Bonaire and how it's developed into uh, a, a, a wonderful place. Yes. A wonderful place. Yes. Yeah. So, connections. Uh, Flamingo International Airport, yes? yes, which is about 10 minutes away from... Um, from the main town. The main town. Very close. Yeah. And uh, that's got all the normal facilities, car hire, etc., and yeah. things like that. And um, there are flights there from Europe and from America. Yes. So thank you for listening to our channel. Just a reminder that you can see our adventure on YouTube at Sailing Ocean Fox. On episode 75, 70 to 75, we will put a link in the description below. Destination Sailing Channel is supported by Seawater Pro. If you are buying a water maker, look up the link below. 
and receive an additional set of filters with your purchase. You would also be helping us to produce these free podcasts and videos. You can listen to Destination Sailing Channel as a podcast. Just search for the channel on your preferred podcast platform. Next week, we're going to be going to Venice. And as a little change, uh, Steve and Judith from Sailing Fair Isle will be telling us everything there is to know about Venice. Venice, yeah. They've been there for quite a few months. Yes, they have. So they will know more about that than us. <laughs> This is Simon and Carla from Sailing Ocean Fox on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and all the major podcast platforms. Until next week, fair winds, wherever you are sailing. Bye for now. Bye.